Welcome to the launch of the book, The Forgotten Third, published by John Cat Education. The Forgotten Third challenges orthodoxies to shape a levelled up education system. The Forgotten Third is a provocative collection of essays which poses the fundamental question, do a third of students have to fail so that two thirds can pass? Editor Roy Blatchford has brought together a group of leading thinkers and influencers in UK education to address this question and pose some answers. In this recording, one of four to accompany the book's launch, we can hear Richard Sheriff talk about his contribution to the book, an essay entitled The Gateway Moment. Hello, my name is Richard Sheriff and I'm the Chief Executive of the Red Kites Learning Trust. The concept of the Forgotten Third is one that really means something to me personally because I went to one of those schools in one of those parts of the country where a lot of us found ourselves in the Forgotten Third. I remember only too well standing outside an exam room in East Hull as a 16 year old waiting to go into a CSE, a maths examination. My mate Ray uh, decided not to go into the exam, it was just too much to bear. Uh, I went in and I passed with a grade one. That was my gateway moment. Because without that CSE grade one, I would have had to live the legacy of the grade D at GCE that I got in the other examination. But it was the grade one that allowed me to get on to do A-levels, eventually allowed me to go to a polytechnic and study geography, to do a postgraduate certificate in education at Leicester University and climb to the lofty heights of becoming a geography teacher and, would you believe it, a head teacher. Social mobility is a little bit like swimming up a river where a strong current moves against us. But there are traps along the way too. The first of those traps is norm reference. Now, norm reference is a very scary trap because this is the way that we take everybody's results and decide that one third will fail, one third will be somewhere in the middle and one third will be our high achievers. And yet that doesn't bear any relation to what those children actually know. It just doesn't make sense. So trap one is that system of norm referencing that holds young people back. We can do something about that trap. The second trap in the social mobility river is about content. Now, I have an admission to make here, but as a 15 year old, I struggled with Shakespeare. I didn't get excited by it in any way. It was a struggle. And we all know that what we like and we enjoy changes as we get older. We do nothing to encourage and support social mobility if we give children a dumbed down curriculum, or we don't allow them to access the very best from the world of the arts, from science and elsewhere. But we need to think about how we do that and when we do that. Clearing the river of social mobility of unnecessary traps is absolutely vital. It's about equality of access, of opportunity. And it's also about unleashing the potential in our fantastic young people in this new age of agile technology and opportunities, we need to find ways of making these young people that face us now have the means to avoid the traps and swim strongly up the river of social mobility and make it to where they truly can be successful. <laughs>